Well, thank you for that great uh, introduction. And I'm going to talk about the coming roaring 20s. Yes, it's easy to get depressed on the markets uh, with a global pandemic going on with enormous volatility and with essentially six stocks leading the markets ever for the last four months. But things are about to get a lot better, and I'll give you all the reasons why. Uh, first of all, uh, why listen to me? Well, I do have 50 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, Japan, and later the White House under Ronald Reagan, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, a uh, little brief time out as a Marine combat pilot in Desert Storm, seems they had a pilot shortage that year, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, then five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, 13 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry who is still working. My family origins are very humble. If you're going to work with me, you should know who I am and where I come from. Grew up as the oldest of seven children on a remote farm in Southern California. Lived the all-American childhood playing Little League Baseball, coming an Eagle Scout, uh, and living the life of the 1950s. Wasn't much to do in rural California in those days except hunting, so I picked up a job as a paper boy for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. That's one of the first newspapers I delivered. Uh, when I was 11, and that was the Kennedy assassination. Didn't take long for me to find the stock pages. I bought IBM at 20 and sold it at 30, and suddenly found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers off the back of a bicycle. By the time I was 16, I earned enough money to fly to Europe and hitchhike around. Uh, by the time I was 17, I had visited more than 50 countries and spoke four languages. Uh, if your ability to go out uh, with a girl depends on your language ability, you learn pretty darn fast. Uh, at UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, and that got me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada, where a lot of the old uh, Manhattan group uh, were still hanging around. They're the people who developed the first atomic bomb. Their yield didn't mean interest paid, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see much of a future in that, so the government sent me to Southeast Asia for a few years of research, where I learned how to fly and jump out of perfectly good airplanes. There I advised the militaries of Americans' Asian allies, such as the Republic of China, that's me uh, 40 years ago, uh, with my division. Of course, in those days, doing research for the government involved carrying a 45 caliber Sten gun, which uh, reliably jammed on every six shot. After 10 years of government service, I ended up with a box full of medals. There's my pilot wings, my Navy wings, uh, which I trot out once a year for Veterans Day. Uh, as the war wound down, I became a foreign correspondent for The Economist magazine. When they learned I had a math degree, they switched me over to covering the Asian economy and the stock market. Ta-da! As a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution, was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War, and covered the rest of the continent all the way to India. And if you're wondering why I'm so skinny in that picture, there was a famine going on in China which, in which 50 million people died. You couldn't buy food for all the money in the world, and there is no substitute for food. Uh, I figured out very quickly you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market, so I got into the industry, joining Morgan Stanley. After 10 years there, I started my own hedge fund, and that's me losing the All Japan Karate Championships, warning never enter a final match with a broken hand, but I had to get to the finals at all costs. I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund of the 1990s, eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in a decade. Then the money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it really has a big impact on your lifestyle. You get to do things like fly your own plane around Europe, buy the latest hot car, 
go marlin fishing in Mexico and collect vintage Rolls Royces. This is my entry in the Pebble Beach show a few years ago. I sold my hedge fund in 2000, retired to go into a, the oil and gas industry. After making a killing there, I missed the stock market and started the diary of a mad hedge fund trader in 2008. I now spend my days pursuing my first love, finding winning trade alerts, but I now do it for my three mansions in San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Zermatt, Switzerland. Fortunately, I wasn't allowed to visit the one in Switzerland this year because Americans are banned from Europe because we are too infectious to let in. Uh, of course, every silver lining has a cloud. Um, uh, I, uh, in 2018, I earned 10.5 million trading and had to pay 3.8 million in taxes on that. I just fall down on the knees and uh, thank goodness I can pay that while it making an appreciable dent in my lifestyle. It's a problem you wish you had. Uh, the little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, flying vintage aircraft on weekends. If you see an old airplane flying loops over San Francisco or London these days, it's probably me. This is my 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth. Notice the design flaws, gas tank directly over your head, and no brakes. That's why we can only land on grass fields. The ultimate luxury, of course, is to give those who need it. Uh, as a Marine Corps veteran, I volunteer for grief counseling for widows and orphans, and I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation centers and handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards. That's me going through my uh, in-law's house, which completely burned to the ground. Notice the SIF box here. They were looking for a wedding ring, which they eventually found because it was made out of platinum. It didn't melt like everything else. So what is the smart money doing right now? Well, we're using capitulation down days to buy high quality technology and biotech stocks and two year leaps. We are selling short US treasury bonds and the US dollar, uh, hedging out downside market risks with put options, defensive sectors and bear ETFs and buying gold and silver on every dip as an additional hedge and a run to a new all time high. My immediate target for gold is $3,000 an ounce. There is a method to my madness, believe it or not. The Fed has proven its intention to step in and run the printing presses on any 10% market correction. Stocks are very, very overpriced, but there's nothing else to buy, so follow the money. A bond short is far and away the better trade based on the massive overissuance of US government bonds. And now we have a big 20 point rally to sell into. It's a prime spot to put on a new trade. The big fear remains for a larger Corona spark, spike now with a second bigger one in the fall. Gold is breaking out to the upside from hedging demand and diversification by people who are terrified of stock prices at these levels. Also, the US dollar is toast because of exploding deficit. That further helps gold. <clears throat> the best buying opportunity of the decade is setting up. The next big dip is the one you buy. And if you're wondering why I'm in such a good mood in that picture, that's because I'm flying a P-51 Mustang. And if you don't know what that is, uh, it is the preeminent uh, fighter of World War II. This is my friend Geraldine who I usually fly uh, once a year. You can see it shot down about uh, uh, 40 planes uh, over Germany in World War II. Uh, it is a curious cross between a jet engine and a 2000 horsepower piston engine. Uh, global economy is going from a V to a W, call it a double dip economy, uh, as another wave of shutdowns hobbles the economy. June non-farm uh, payrolls blow it away, up 4.8 million, taking the unemployment rate uh, to a half century high of 11.1%. Weekly jobless claims, still a blockbuster of 1.3 million. However, gigantic layoffs loom with a resurging pandemic, uh, pouring gasoline on the fire and no more stimulus money. Uh, 
tens of millions of people are losing their $600 a week uh, support. Goldman Sachs has chopped their growth forecast in the face of soaring COVID-19 cases, pairing their Q3 prediction from 33% to only 25%, and that has since been cut even more. Uh, these are some of the stats we follow just to show you how weak the recovery has been so far. This is the U.S. hotel occupancy rate, and it is running at less than 50% of January peak levels. Uh, even worse is restaurant bookings, which are down 60% from their peak bookings, and that is falling now. Notice that these are levels of business would guarantee these industries go out of business by the end of the year. None of these businesses can operate at down 50, down 60% levels. They really need to be up to 80 or 90% just to break even, let alone make a profit. So we are long, long ways from seeing any kind of sustainable recovery in the uh, economy. It all depends on progress on the virus and the vaccine. Uh, weekly jobless claims, uh, now 12 weeks in a row, actually 20 weeks in a row of over 1 million figures. This is the worst in American history. Of course, there is an historic antidote ahead of us. The government has already implemented the greatest economic stimulus in history at 6 trillion, looking for 7 or 8 trillion, and more is in the pipeline. The Fed has unleashed the greatest quantitative easing in history at $8 trillion, increasing all the global QE of the past decade by 50% in one shot. When people come out of lockdown, they will engage in the greatest spending binge in history. Most consumption hasn't been lost, just deferred into the future. This will create the strongest economic growth in history, starting in Q3 or Q4 at the latest. Stocks will rocket. Yeah, if you think they're expensive now, they will get 10 times more expensive in the coming decade. Don't sell anything now, most of the damage has already been done. You're only looking at buying opportunities from here. Stocks, uh, we are paying up for the future. Stocks hit a new high as corona cases explode with tech and biotech leading the charge. Recovery stocks like banks, energy, cruise lines, movie theaters and hotels have been thrown back in the trash can but should have another short covering rally imminently, possibly as soon as the coming week. Stocks are expensive relative to the old America, but are cheap to the new America. The companies coming out of this pandemic will be far more profitable and far more efficient than anything seen in the past. And that is what stock investors are paying up for now. Pandemic is forcing massive economies of scale, cost cutting, evolving companies to much more profitable business models at incredible speed. That's what investors are paying up for today. The area of being left behind at the station is dragging $5 trillion in cash from the sidelines from institutional investors. So we could be entering a wide 2700, call it 3500 range until the presidential election. Uh, Forward price earnings history, we are now more expensive than at any time in 20 years. Uh, you can see the uh, multiple uh, actually got down to a low of nine during the uh, 08, 09 crash. And um, we're now back all the way up to 25 or 26. So again, double top uh, in um, PE multiples over 20 years. Uh, means we're overdue for a correction, probably not a huge one, and that is setting up the, a great trading opportunity over the next few weeks. Uh, so this is what we expect the markets to do, peak out close to here, uh, go down and retest 2,800, maybe 2,700 in worst case. After that, it's on the new all-time highs, either into the run, in, run into the presidential election or right afterwards. Uh, S&P 500, uh, NASDAQ has been the place to be. We see a smallish correction here and then another run to new all-time highs led by all our tech favorites. 
targeting uh, 12,000 in NASDAQ by the end of the year. And you can see these are buy and sell signals sent out by our proprietary in-house algorithm. And our algorithm got us out of the market in February into a big neck short position, which we rode all the way down to the bottom in March. And right down here, we sent out no less than 25 buy recommendations on the best stocks. And a lot of these uh, doubled or tripled after that. So taking profits now, but looking to buy back very quickly. And this is you'll see pretty much the same recommendations by our algorithm on almost every stock and sector we follow. Uh, Microsoft, new all-time high there. Uh, hit our old target of 200. We're now looking for 250. Uh, Apple, uh, 5G is coming, and the 5G fever has already started. Uh, and you can see we had a sell back here. Uh, came back in at 210 at the March bottom, bought the leaps, which are leveraged option plays. Uh, and after that, we got more than a double. Uh, Amazon is taking over the world, uh, run by my old friend, Jeff Bezos. Uh, again, we got a double out of this stock. It recently hit 3,400. We're targeting 5,000 over the next three years in Amazon. So again, another favorite to buy on a dip. PayPal, uh, uh, this is your favorite stock to own when we are moving towards a touchless payment system. One of the greatest spreaders of, of the virus is paper money. And the way around that uh, is to go to a touchless payment system where you just swipe a card. Uh, and uh, a lot of stores in California will no longer accept cash. They'll only accept credit card. That way, you have to take the virus risk by signing uh, the card purchase. Uh, NVIDIA, this is a graphics card leader. Uh, again, you know, we got out in February, got back in at the bottom after that. We got a very quick double. They are the number one chip stock in the world to own. And we've been following this one for many years. Uh, Salesforce, uh, suddenly every company in the world wants to move online uh, at the same time. So they've been a huge winner. Again, uh, got a double off the bottom of this one and uh, looking to buy this one and any 10% correction, looking for a new all-time high of 250. Uh, Boeing uh, certainly has been beaten like the proverbial redheaded stepchild. Uh, we got out of this. Uh, a couple of years ago when it was close to 450, played the short side all the way down. Finally, when it broke 100, we jumped back in and bought it. Uh, got a double out of that. We're looking to buy the next run at $100 uh, in Boeing, and we're actually fairly close to that now. We're eventually targeting $300 a share in Boeing once the 737 MAX gets back in the air. Uh, Seattle Genetics, of course, we're big in biotech. Among my other sins, I also manage a biotech letter. Most of the recommendations there have doubled or tripled since we launched the letter. Of course, it's not only just COVID-19. There also is a massive effort to cure cancer and virtually every other uh, major human disease over the next 10 years using all the advanced technologies that have emerged just over the last five years. Uh, got a double on this one, we expect higher, targeting 450. Uh, Lumina is another corona vaccine front runner. We think once they actually have a workable vaccine, you'll only get a easy double on this. For now, our target is 500. Looking to buy Illumina on every dip. <clears throat> there is another trade out there. A lot of people make the mistake of only looking at stocks. We cover everything, uh, and right now, the better quality trade, rather than chasing Apple or Microsoft at all-time highs, is to sell short the bond market. Uh, a second wave in the coronavirus is bringing a second dip in interest rates and spike in prices. While the stock market ignores soaring corona cases, bonds are keeping a laser focus. As we shift from a V to a W, we got a monster 15 point short covering rally in bonds that is a fantastic new entry point for new trades on the short side 
Uh, we added an entry level short position again uh, in March and April when uh, bonds were in free fall. We added 12 uh, short, short positions in the bond market, made money on every one of them. Finally, when the TLT bottomed at 152, we started playing from the long side and made another 15 points on that. So another short selling opportunity of the century is in play in the bond market. Uh, U.S. Treasury bonds could plunge from 168 to 105, taking interest rates from 53 basis points all the way up to 3.25%. So you should be selling short every rally in the TLT. Here's the chart for this year. Uh, you can see we bought this initial dip down in March, uh, and then sold short uh, after it rallied all the way up to 172. Played the shorts from 172 down to 52. That's where we got those 12 trades in. Playing on the long side, we're now looking to go short again now that we're up here in the 170 level. Our eventual target for this year is 140 on the downside and 105 on a two-year view. So great short play, also a great opportunity to hedge some of your existing positions in the big tech stocks. 10-year uh, yields we see going from 0 0.53 basis points right now, all the way up to 1.25 by the end of the year. And like I mentioned before, 3.25% over two years. So great bottom to buy off of uh, right now. Expect interest rates to go up and bond prices to go down. Uh, foreign currencies, we have a tale of two economies here. U.S. dollar weakness is soaring on the corona panic. Uh, massive QE and bond issuance is sucking the life out of the greenback. Eight trillion in new debt by year end. Euro is taking a run at new highs as their economy recovers and the U.S. doesn't or does very slowly. In Q2, the U.S. economy shrank at a 32.9% rate in their GDP. Europe fell only by 10% because they did a total shutdown, uh, which enables them to reopen now while we can't. So that's why you're starting to see the euro outperform the US dollar and European stock markets outperform American ones. British pound is strengthening, Aussie dollar is consolidating strength. Bitcoin hung on to 10,000 and made it up to 11.4. Keep selling short all U.S. dollar rallies. The yield support there is gone forever. Uh, this is a basket of foreign currencies, the UUP. We got a sell here, another sell here, and we look for the dollar to keep going down for several years. Currency trends tend to go on for very long times, uh, often several years or even a decade. Uh, and we are only a couple of months into this new downtrend for the U.S. dollar. Our favorite currency to buy right here is the Australian dollar, uh, or the FXA is the ETF for that. Uh, a major 10-year uh, long-term bottom is in... Uh, and as they say, the longer the bottom, the greater the breakout. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. We've already got a 30% move off the bottom here from 57 all the way up to 72. Eventually, the Australian dollar will go to one to one from here. So that's about another 40% gain over the next couple of years by the Australian dollar on every dip. Uh, energy uh, resurging coronavirus is hammering Texas tea. That's a picture of a capped in well. And when you cap in a, a well, uh, you damage the production of that field for life, unless you want to go drill a new well, which costs anywhere from $1 million to $10 million. Fear of a slowing recovery is causing energy stocks to dive along with oil. Production supply demand gap is shrinking, but is still historically huge. Much of the lost demand is permanent as U.S. economy structures to a less transportation-oriented economy and more electric cars. When I commuted from the third floor of my home to my first floor, I didn't use any gasoline, 
and I'm sure most of you have not used it either. Uh, maybe half of all listed energy names will go bankrupt in 2020. Any oil price spike will be temporary as oversupply uh, against fading demand, which will last for years. Avoid all energy plays like the plague, could buy, drop by half by the end of this depression. Don't confuse gone down a lot with cheap. That's how you get sucked into stocks, which become a total loss. Uh, here is uh, oil production going back for the last 10 years. And you can see it's been in a very convincing downtrend, really, since 2009 when oil last hit $150 a barrel. Our algorithm has caught every one of these collapses. We sold here, we sold here, uh, and then we sold uh, back here in the 40s. Uh, and I came out too soon. Who expected negative $37 uh, a barrel for oil? I actually bought it at negative five and got stopped out the next day when we hit the negative 30s. It's been that kind of world this year. Uh, here is a 20-year chart for oil, and here the downtrend is much more pronounced. You can see this is a product that is eventually headed to zero. We probably will see negative prices again. My uh, medium-term tar target for oil is $10 a barrel. You don't want to own oil companies in that situation. Uh, precious metals, on the other hand, are one of our favorites. This is me doing some early Christmas shopping at the Istanbul gold market. Uh, back in the days when you could travel and fly airplanes, I used to get around quite a lot. Uh, no change in our bullish picture. The upside breakout is in play. Hedging demand piles on top of central bank buying. New QE infinity sparks a huge rally. Worthless dollar makes gold all the more valuable. Near zero interest rates and collapsing US dollar is another big incentive to buy gold. Central banks are still pouring money into gold every month. So keep buying every dip. My medium term target for gold is $3,000 an ounce, up 50% from here. And after that, who knows uh, how much? I mean, the hyper bullish arguments for gold go all the way up to $50,000 an ounce. Uh, gold, here's our uh, handy algorithm at work. We bought this dip here, we bought this dip here. And we've been even been buying the small dips for the last couple of months, uh, targeting $3,000 an ounce, up 50%. And we have very extensive research on gold on our website. Uh, and there are multiple gold ETFs you can buy and leverage gold ETFs you can buy. You can go up to 2X or 3X, depending on how much risk and volatility you want to take. If you like gold, you have to like gold miners even more. It rises at roughly four times the rate of the underlying gold, and we've been uh, steadily buying that also. And if you like gold miners, you have to like Barrick Gold, uh, which is the world's largest gold miner. Again, buying every dip, raking in the money. This could go on for years. Uh, there is one other alternative investment opportunity. The next trillion dollar company is almost certainly going to be Tesla. Battery costs have dropped by 80% over the last 10 years and will fall by another 80% over the next 10. Second factory in Shanghai has increased their production from 400,000 to 550 a year, and a third factory in the U.S. could even double that, and that has, in fact, been announced for Austin, Texas. Uh, and that's where they will build their pickup trucks. Yeah, how about that for market savvy? Building their pickup factory in Texas, which is the largest market in the country for pickups. They do look a little bit weird, but you can get 500 miles on a single charge. I'm on the waiting list to buy one myself so I can get up to Lake Tahoe on a single charge from San Francisco. U.S. electric car sales have risen from 0% 10 years ago to 4% of the market today and will soar to 100% in 20 years. Tesla is already outselling all premium car brands in the US combined, including Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and Jaguar. It has a 10 year head start on the technology. At the end of this year, they're bringing their Model Y SUV out, which is expected to be their biggest seller ever. Many countries in US states have banned the internal combustion engine by 
2030 or 2040. Tesla is already the world's largest car company by market cap. When the stock was at 1,800, Tesla was worth $330 billion, and it could grow tenfold from here. In addition to the S&P 500, will also force a huge amount of index buying of the stock. Uh, we initially uh, recommended Tesla at $16.50 after the IPO bomb. Since then, we've had a 110-fold move in the stock. Uh, finding 10 baggers is hard enough. Try finding 100 baggers. Actually, you can do that in California. You do get stocks that go up 100 times. Apple happens to be another one of those, and so has uh, Amazon. Uh, so anyway, we took profits back here, bought this dip. Our last big buy in Tesla was at June last year at $180 a share. In a year, we got to move to 1800. Our target for 2021 is 2500. That'll happen once they add Tesla to the S&P 500. So plenty of volatility here, plenty of opportunities. Uh, buy the stock and you get a free Tesla. I mean, that's essentially what happens. That's what's happened to me. I'm on my third Tesla now. You make so much money on the stock, you can afford to pay full retail on the car. And getting a car at a 1.9% interest rate isn't too bad either. Uh, this is my latest Tesla, the Model X High Performance, 162,000 uh, fully tricked out with the ludicrous mode. Warning, when you do drive from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, bring air sick bags, which you lifted out of the airlines. Uh, I'm a combat pilot. I'm immune to car sickness. My kids, not so much. If you want to keep that new car smell, keep a couple of air sick bags and blankets in the car. Uh, this is my first Tesla, chassis number 125 off the assembly line. When I picked it up uh, 11 years ago, uh, they asked me to sign the factory wall. Uh, when I got my last car, they my signature was still there. That was a tradition for the first 100 or so buyers of the new Teslas. Uh, unfortunately, a uh, drunk driver in a pickup truck had other ideas about me driving this thing out its full life. So I took it to a shop and completely took the car to pieces. A lot of people talk about Tesla, very few have taken them apart. Here you can see the 1100 pound lithium ion battery in the back seat uh, and the carbon fiber wheel wells that make it the safest car in the world. Uh, cars will be all carbon fiber within five years, which enables the car to cut their weight by 90% while increasing their strength 10 times. That also will greatly extend car ranges don't play with matches you could probably do okay just buying all the stocks i mentioned above and forgetting about them however the reality is that conditions for these companies change every day they are all viciously competing trying to put each other out of business if you don't get daily updates on the fundamentals you could easily get wiped out today's big winner could instantly become tomorrow's loser that's why you need someone like me to guide you through the thicket to avoid it out of the blue blow up. Uh, I gained financial independence for life uh, through all of this, and so can you. All of this can be yours. Discover how to make thousands of dollars a year in extra income. Go from complete beginner to seasoned pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and trade for a living full time. Trade from anywhere, anytime and supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking waiting trades by the hundreds. Uh, and to prove you can trade from anywhere, anytime, this is me trading in North Africa, and I'm struggling as hard as I can to smile because it is 120 degrees right there. When those winds come off the Sahara Desert, it really is incredible. The harsh truth is you really need my help. The majority of individual traders lose money. They lack the correct training and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of interest. Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. The easy solution to that problem is to get educated. Fidelity did a 20 year study and learned that their top performing investors were dead people. Why do dead people do so well? Because they never sell. 
and with an all-time markets at an all-time high and the tech stocks through the roof, it's easy to understand why dead people are such great traders. And this is me getting some uh, uh, investment advice from my old broker, Pinocchio. Notice that everything in the shop is Pinocchio's. This is in Northern Italy where the Pinocchio fable was originated. You really need a pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not monolithic and 95% of it can be completely ignored. There are a few great sectors and a lot of awful ones. You can earn a 10 times return on the great ones, but get wiped out by the losers. Let a 50 year veteran steer you to safe waters. Let me sex sit next to you and guide your hand on every winning trade. Uh, this is my secret weapon, the Mad Hedge Profit Predictor, an artificial intelligence driven algorithm that analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum driven indicators 30 times a day. Uh, let's see, this thing keeps jumping back on me. Why do you need an algorithm? Well, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms have become so dominant in the market, you should never trade without one. It does the work of a seasoned 100 man research department in seconds. It runs real time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself 30 times a day. That's what our algorithm does. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If you're trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your profits. And you can see as of yesterday's close, our algorithm is showing a, a reading of 71, meaning it is moderately overbought and a moderate short sale, or at the very least, a take profit. If we get over 80, uh, then it becomes a very strong sale or short sale. Uh, I'm not the only one using algorithms. I was walking along the waterfront in Miami last year, back in the old days when I could travel, uh, and found this super yacht, and look what it's called, algorithm. Obviously, I'm not the only one doing this. Some 80 to 90% of all current trading is algorithm-driven. You're not involved in it. You're in the 10%. That's losing. Uh, this is three years of profit productor performance. Every time we get uh, sharp sell-offs in the market, we get a bunch of buy signals. When stocks are peaking out, we get lots of sell signals. It's only about 90% effective, but having somebody who's 90% of the right, uh, right 90% of the time, giving your stock tips is not a bad thing to have. And it does this in unemotionally without any bias or prejudice one way or the other. Uh, this is how the uh, S&P 500 did over the last 10 years, up 178%. Uh, the Mad Hedge uh, trade alert performance during the same time uh, is up 2.15 times the S&P 500 with far less volatility. Notice that we tend to go up sharply, then sideways, up sharply, then sideways, up sharply, then sideways. And this isn't unique in the hedge fund industry. This is a typical long-term performance for any well-run hedge fund. Over the last 11 years, we have averaged 36.05% in profits, whether the markets are going up, down, or sideways. So having a strategy that essentially works all the time, 90% of the time, is a good thing to have at your back. Bill was a struggling tobacco farmer in Virginia who wanted to supplement his fading agricultural income. After making $3.4 million trading with me, he moved out of North Carolina and came out to California. Now he's growing grapes for California's Napa Valley high-end wines. Uh, by the way, he also quit wearing plaid shirts. Now he's dressed California style. Uh, that's him uh, at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Uh, Philip was tired of working in the boom and bust of the oil and gas industry. After doubling his money every year for several years, he now earns a full, a generous full-time living with me. Uh, Jackie was an Australian hospital administrator who turned $50,000 into $2 million with the help of 
me and became a major player in technology stocks. She was making money so fast, she was trading from a computer in their bedroom. Her husband wouldn't let her leave the bedroom. He just kept uh, slipping meals under the door and said, keep, ma keep making money, dear. It's a true story. Uh, and she uh, now spends her time cruising around the world, or at least she did until the cruise industry shut down. Uh, so what do we do about all this? Uh, stocks, you want to buy the next big dip. Bonds sell rallies, commodities buy dips, energy stand aside, currency sell the US dollar rallies, precious metals buy every dip. If you were not up 64.63% in the past 12 months as I was, you were reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. 64.63%, uh, this is how we've done over the last 12 months. We're now 100% cash, flatlining at the top, where I will be adding a bunch of positions on Monday morning, as should you. Uh, notice that uh, during the biggest crash in market history, we were only down 15% at the worst, and then immediately made the money right back. Uh, down 15 in a market that's down close to 40%, most people will take that all day long. Uh, if you think I was just lucky over the last year, this is our 11-year performance, averaging 36.05% a year. And again, it's always going from the lower left to the upper right. That is the kind of trailer performance you should strive for. Uh, you get that kind of performance, you get to do things that other people don't do, like ride the Queen Mary from New York to England uh, in the owner's suite, which is 2,000 square feet, has a huge outside deck, and it has two full-time butlers. When you get to England, you can take the Orient Express from England to Venice, Italy. Warning, every dinner is black tie, so you have to bring at least two tuxes uh, if you want to eat dinner with your friends. When you get to Venice, you can go island hopping in your own private helicopter. Uh, you save a lot of time missing those lines. Uh, here's a very, very long view, and this is the really important part of this presentation. Uh, the 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy one, as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials will become big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on, this, on the economy, will fade from the scene. That will create an economic boom that will last another decade starting in 2021. And that's me at my home in Zermatt watching climbers come down from the Matterhorn. Uh, this is what the Dow average did in 1982 to 2000. It went up 20 times in 18 years. Uh, here you go from 82 to 2000. Remember those Dow 10,000 hats? Uh, are you ready for a replay? We're about to see an exact replay of this 20-fold performance. Uh, if you take that performance, assume we had the bottom in 2009, uh, and in 18 years, we rise 20 times. That takes us to 120,000 Dow by 2027. And if you think I've been smoking California's most popular product, think again. We are already halfway there. I mean, the Dow has already gone from 6,000 to uh, 28,000, uh, which is halfway uh, to the next peak. Uh, up 20 times in 18 years takes us to a Dow 107,000 uh, by close to 2030. Uh, except this time it's different. Technology is hyper-accelerating on all fronts simultaneously. Uh, the pandemic has speeded up the rate of change. Development of a functional quantum computer means that computation ability is about to increase a trillion fold at no cost. World's major computational challenges will be shortly solved, such as weather forecasting, cancer cures, and yes, stock market forecasting. All major human diseases will be cured within 10 years. Needless to say, tech and biotech stocks dominate in this scenario and will account for the bulk of stock market gains in our lifetimes. The 90s had cheaper computers, cheap operating software, and a new internet. The 2020s will have 10 times this number of new 
technology drivers. And this is a new uh, quantum computer, which is essentially a large refrigerator because it has to operate at around 207 degrees below zero. So who will show you how to play the next 95,000 Dow points? Sit with me, John Thomas, the Mad Hitch Run Trader, and my Global Trading Dispatch. Discover how to tap into the top tra performing trade mentoring service in the industry, up 66.22% in volatile markets. Follow my research and market beating trade alerts, and you will rate the profits in. Uh, let a Marine combat pi pilot steer you to big profits. Single stocks, options, and ETFs are what we trade for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. Uh, this is a typical trading month for us. We did 11 trades, 10 made money. Uh, we bought the S&P 500 at six, and made a 16% profit. Sold short U.S. Treasuries, made 8%. Bought the Russell 2000, Amazon, Apple. Oops, got stopped out of Biogen. Uh, we stop out of losers very quickly because we know 90% of the time the next trade will be a winner. Then we went on to make money in Palo Alto Networks, selling short the yen, shorting treasuries, buying the spies, and buying gold. Uh, it's just a matter of time before tech and biotech stocks break out to new all-time highs. Watch this space melt up going into the end of 2020. Get ready to start reeling in those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch as your guide. And yes, that is a 24-inch rainbow trout which I caught myself in Northern Nevada. Unfortunately, it was catch and release, so I didn't get to keep the trophy. Uh, here's how it works. Uh, we saw an opportunity in Micron Technology, which our algorithm spotted right here as a buying opportunity. So we sent out a trade alert that looks like this. Buy Micron Technology at 4201 or best. It's an opening trade, portfolio weighting of 10%. Uh, $10,000 investment means you had to buy 238 shares. What happened? Well, we got a 15.63% profit in 15 trading days. Uh, we caught this move up here, decided a good opportunity to take uh, profit. So we sent out another alert. We make these as simple as possible so any 10-year-old can follow this. Uh, we then sent out a trailer to take profits sell Micron technology at 48.58 or best. And on this particular trade, we made $1,563 in 15 days or about a 15% profit on the trade. Uh, these are some of the big winners we've had over the years. NVIDIA up 267%, <clears throat> LAM Research up 77% in 10 months. Baidu up 2,240%, uh, and of course, you know about Tesla. We all know about Tesla now. Everyone said I was crazy 10 years ago. Everyone said I was crazy a year ago, and now here I am driving my free Tesla. With Global Trading Dispatch, you get a daily research newsletter, which I write myself, instant trade alerts and add up market sweet spots, about 200 a year, except this year it'll be about 400, and all the reasons to execute them. They average about once a year, but they tend to bunch up at market tops and market bottoms. Yes, I'm telling you to buy bottoms and sell tops. I know your natural instinct is to do the opposite. Live bi-weekly strategy webinars with an interactive Q&A, special reports on urgent investment topics, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world, I used to do about 25 of these a year, and that obviously is in hold until after we get a vaccine. More educational videos and webinars than you can consume in a lifetime, and access to a 13-year database on investment ideas. I'll even give you the name of a surfing camp in North Africa with a seniors division. Warning, it's a lot harder than it looks. This is what I'm not gonna charge you uh, for this service. I'm not gonna charge you $100,000. Uh, that's what I charge my big hedge fund clients and they're happy to pay because I make them millions. In fact, one of the reasons I can charge such low prices for this service is I'm being subsidized by several big hedge funds 
paying this amount of money. And I'm not going to charge you $10,000 a year. That's what I charge my concierge clients who get my personal cell phone number so I can be their investment 911. And I'm not going to charge you $5,000. That's what I charge my advanced options trading clients. And I'm not going to charge you $3,000. That is the cheapest price on my website and the lowest price I've ever offered on my website. This is the real deal. Uh, creating this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry. Running it cost me millions more. You can email me anytime and I always answer same day, unless you uh, email me after the market close. Here's the offer you can't refuse, six months for just $997. That's a 66% discount uh, to our regular price. Uh, you can only get this price today through this webinar by clicking on the link in the chat box on the right. And let's see if we have it in there. Da, 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 and there it is. MadHedgeFundTrader.com slash TTT. Click on that link. That will take you immediately to a dedicated hedge fund, uh, a dedicated sales page uh, where you can enter your order. And I'll open up my email just to see, watch the orders coming in so I can say thank you personally. Uh, this is a limited, limited time offer only. We only take 25 new subscribers at a time. That's so we don't overwhelm the markets with a bunch of identical trade alerts at one time and move the market too much. It's first come, first serve. I can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. Just click on the chat box on the right where you'll find the blue hyperlink. Uh, let me make the money for you to pay for your own subscription. You make the trades, discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. 95% of our customers cover the cost for six months on their first trade. It is essentially a self-financing service. Just click on the link on the chat box on the right. Uh, here's the offer you can't refuse, six months for just $997. Let me show you how to make the money for you to pay for your own subscription. Buy now and you'll receive my Mad Hedge Armageddon portfolio, stocks to buy at the next market bottom and then forget about for the rest of your life. Never trade again. Just soak up these stocks on the next major sell-off, uh, and you look, can look for doubles, triples, or 10 baggers over the next couple of years. Yes, those kinds of stocks are still out there available right now. Uh, buy now, and you will instantly receive a trade alert, which you can execute uh, at the opening on Monday morning. Make some of the most serious money in your life. Don't leave good money on the table. Uh, there is an extremely high probability of success in this trade working instantly. Uh, I'll even give you a tease. This is the chart for this uh, trade. Uh, the only thing I'm not going to tell you is whether this is a buy or a sell. Uh, for that, you're going to have to subscribe to our service. Just click on the chat box on the right. Uh, okay, moving forward. Six months for just $997, and I'll leave this page open for a few minutes so you still have access to the link to the sales page, and I will take questions. So let's see. Uh, looks like we have 297 questions, which I have three minutes to answer. Um, da, da, da. George says he's signing up. Looks like a great deal. and. Uh, I can hear the orders coming in already. Uh, let's see who just came in. Uh, we have Elaine Lee uh, from Kissimmee, Florida. Well, Kissimmee, Florida happens to be where I keep my P-51 Mustang. It's called the Stallion 51 Corporation, which you can rent for only uh, $5,000 an hour. Uh, and I go there once a year, so maybe I'll look you up the next time I'm flying my P-51 Mustang. 
Okay, now a whole bunch of orders uh, just came in. I can see we're going to hit our 25 limit pretty quickly here. We have an order coming in from Richard in Portland, Maine. I used to stop there, uh, Richard, when I flew my plane transatlantic. That's the last refueling stop before Labrador and then Greenland. You're flying a piston engine. Okay, let's look at these other orders that have come in. Uh, we have uh, David from Carthage, Illinois. Uh, thank you very much, David. Pro promise to work hard to earn your money. I'm very flattered you decided to join me today. Uh, here's another one from uh, Jennifer uh, in New York, New York. Thank you very much, Jennifer. I seem particularly popular with the ladies today. For some reason, that's something I'll never object to. Uh, here we have Joseph from Dallas, Texas. Thank you very much, Joseph. You're coming in at a great time. There's some great trade alerts we're sending out next week. I've already got them written up, just waiting for a good entry point to ship them out. Uh, okay, who else do we have? Okay, I can see if you're sitting on the fence thinking about buying this but aren't sure, go ahead and jump now because this will get sold out in the next two minutes i can see right now okay we have one here from kevin in centennial colorado i remember centennial i i hitchhiked through there about 50 years ago got locked up in jail because hitchhiking was illegal in the time they let me out the next day and i asked the cop why did you lock me up and he said there's a serial killer loose picking up hitchhikers uh one of the few good deeds that have been done to me in my life Okay, let's see who else we have here. Let me get, get back to my email account. Uh, we have uh, John, another John in um, Bellingham, Washington. Uh, I happen to know that well. That's near the uh, Boeing factory, which I used to visit fairly frequently. Remember, I saw the inaugural flight of the Boeing 747. Nobody believed it would get off the ground. Uh, now it's retired. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me see who this is. Uh, Kenneth from Jeffersonville, Indiana. Thank you very much, Kenneth. Your trade alert should be in your inbox by now. All you have to do is uh, set it up in your online trading platform before the market opening on Monday. Uh, okay, we are out of time. Uh, Silas, uh, Thank you very much for inviting me today, uh, and uh, the show is now yours. All right, thanks a lot, John. Real quick, there are a couple of recurring questions. Um, what minimum account size do you recommend, and can they use your recommendations to trade options? Uh, the uh, minimum size for our trades, we have students starting with $500. Uh, trading from their dorm rooms, and they end up paying for their entire college education. Uh, and every trailer we send out has a stock uh, recommendation, an option play, and an ETF play. So we cover all three with every trade alert. Uh, but I should tell you, over the long term, over 10 years, the people who made the most money bought the stocks. Of course, recommending stocks to go up 100 times, that tends to happen. Uh, got any more questions for me? I see a few um, thank yous for your service. Yeah, uh, well, thank you much. It's an honor to serve, is all I can say. Semper Fi. All right. Well, thanks a lot, John. Always a great presentation. And uh, there's the link again. Put that back into the chat. MadHedgeFundTrader.com forward slash triple T. It's TTT. And John, have a great weekend, and thanks for uh, participating today. We'll we'll catch up soon. Okay, we have two more slots left to go. After that, we're sold out, and the uh, sales page will shut down. So uh, see you at the next uh, party in Vegas if it happens. All right, sounds good, John. Take care.